Just like we can customize forms in Peachtree, we also can customize reports in Peachtree. But I do want to caution you about a little something here. I currently still have my balance sheet open, and it's important to remember that things like balance sheets and income statements or P&Ls really are standardized. That's what they're intended to be. That gap, or our general accounting principles, says that they should look a certain kind of way, should be formatted a certain way, so that banks and investors and anybody else who's interested can look at them and know how to read them, regardless of the specific company or industry. So it's probably not a good idea to customize your balance sheet, at least not too much. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and close this out, and instead maybe do something a little bit more appropriate for my spa. In my spa, we obviously sell a variety of products and we give services like facials. When we do that, we use products that have all kinds of different components or ingredients in them. So I'm thinking it might be important for us to be able to keep a list of what our customer allergies are. Earlier, we created a custom field for our customers called allergies, so we already have a place to put the information, but we don't currently have a way to output it. I'm thinking that we'll probably keep this list at the reception desk, so when somebody checks in for an appointment, the receptionist can look at the list and see if there are any allergies that anybody needs to be aware of. In order to do this, I'm going to customize a version of a current report. I'm going to go to Accounts Receivable, and one that we have is the customer list. Just as I did with my form, I'm going to go ahead and save this under a different name before I customize it, just because that's my best practice. So we'll right-click, we'll do a Save As, and we'll call it Client Allergy List. The next thing that we can do is we can put in a report description. Notice that what Peachtree does is it keeps the original description, contact information for every customer, so on and so forth, but it adds to the beginning custom version of customer list. Well, all of that is really not appropriate, so I'm going to press Tab, and I'm going to put in a better description. Something like that. A simple list of customers and if they have allergies listed in our database. I'll go ahead and click Save, and then I'll scroll up because our custom reports are always at the top, and I can see that it has a little icon on it that lets me know that this is custom. And now I can right click, choose Modify, and we have three options options themselves, columns, and fonts. Let's go ahead and click Options and take a look at what we have. Because this wasn't something like a balance sheet or a P&L, we don't have any date appropriate options, so this is grayed out. In other types of reports, we would have that and be able to select the current date, the current period, something like that. What is important, though, is that I can actually sort this list. The default is by customer ID, but my receptionist doesn't care about those ID numbers that Peachtree stores. She's going to want to look at the list in alphabetical order, so I can change the sorting from customer ID to customer name. That'll be a big help. Then I can also filter the information, and I think I do want to filter it. First of all, I don't need to see inactive names. This would only be for people who are coming into the spa, so I only want to see active customers. On the right-hand side, once I select Active Inactive, I can choose which one of those I want to see. If I continue to scroll down in my fields, I can also see our custom field called Allergies. Now this one doesn't have quite as much flexibility as I hope it would. The problem is we don't know what entries are in the allergy field. The only option is to say don't filter by it, or filter a range, which isn't really appropriate for this field, or I could say one or more. Right now we only have one entry in our database where there's an entry for allergy and it says NKA, which is no known allergies. So right now this particular feature isn't useful. As we build our database, and if there are certain things we're concerned about, like if they are allergic to silicone or oatmeal, you know, we may have some very standard things, and then we could say include all of those, but do not include NKA, because that means they don't have any allergies. In this case, I'm just going to leave it as showing all records. Now that's everything that we can do as far as the overall options go. And we could say OK to this, and then go back to modify and choose a different feature, but guess what? Those other two options are available right here. We don't have to close out of this window. I'm going to click on Columns, and this actually means fields that are available. 
And I'm going to customize this list because my allergy list needs to be very simple. It doesn't need to have all of the information that the original list did. So I'm going to select none at the top to deselect all of the fields first rather than deselecting them one at a time. Then I'm going to choose the only few fields that I need. I need to know who the contact is. Then I'll scroll down. I might want to know who their sales rep is. That way if we have an issue we can get them to their sales rep very quickly. And then of course I need to include the allergy field, so just three. I could also click on fonts. What you can see from this tab though is something that's going to be dealt with in the lesson we talk about report styles. So I'm not going to have this here, but I just wanted to show you that it is available. If I wanted to change the formatting of something like the company name or the title of the report, I could simply click on the A button and make that modification. At this point, I've been through the three different things that I can go through for modifying the report, so I'll say OK, and then I get to see the report. Now granted, it is not very exciting right now because remember, our Erlandessa Spa Company file doesn't have that much information in it. Obviously, it only has one customer, and for that customer that has NKA, it's a company because the individual name isn't showing up. So we need to do a little bit more work of filling in our customers as well as maybe tweaking this report a little bit to get it to show up the way that we want. In the meantime though, I can simply come to the upper left and I can save it. Since I already did a save as before, I don't need to give it a new name, so I'll click save. It'll ask me if I want to overwrite it and I'll say yes, that's fine. And then I can close.